Hey guys, Private Jack here. Okay, I've been asked to look at a model. It's uh, coming into Source Filmmaker and it is invisible. And basically I was asked why is that happening and how can I fix it? So I'm going to quickly run through some troubleshooting uh, aspects of finding out where a model needs to live. So anyway, this is the model. Uh, I've subscribed to it. It's a Gary's Mod model. Um, some sort of ragdoll, scarab ragdoll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've uh, loaded uh, Gary's Mod and downloaded the model. So it's now sitting in my Gary's Mod add-ons. I'm going to go to Gary's Mod add-ons. Uh, right here. And it's in a GMA format, so I have to extract it using uh, the GMAD extractor. And I've written a little bat uh, program that will actually do that for me. All I have to do is take, drag, and drop that GMA on my bat shortcut. And it has created a folder with all the stuff from that model in it right here. So I'm going to drill into that folder and I find that there's a materials and models folders where they be need to be. Um, I could drag these off to user mod and drop them there, but my user mod is pretty full. And if I was to uh, drop them in there, troubleshooting would be a lot harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a mod folder for this particular uh, model uh, so it will stand by itself and the way I do that is I simply create because the uh, because this model and uh, materials folder is sitting underneath the root folder here I can just drag this root folder off to my game folder and copy it there under source filmmaker so source filmmaker game and then it will be the scare, uh, Halo 3 Scarab, which is right here now. And there's my materials and models folder. Once that's done, all I need to do now is load up Source Filmmaker. And I'm going to go into the SDK first because I have to add that folder to my game info text file. And the way I do that now, instead of having to edit it with a text editor, I just come here to edit search pass for selected mod. Uh, click on that, and it will actually find that folder, and that would have been down here somewhere if I hadn't have already done this video about 15 times trying to get it right. So anyway, it would be down here somewhere. I check it on, and because I don't know if these model files actually have uh, model names and material names that are used by other mod or models in my uh, packs, I'm going to pull it right up here to the top so that it will load right after user mod. If I can't find this thing, uh, it means that I've got a model in user mod that's using the same model and uh, material name. So I click OK on there and I start Source Filmmaker. Source Filmmaker will load up. And I'm going to create a session. Now what I need to do is I know that this model already has a problem and all I want to do is have a look at it. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll load a map. And I know that this is a gigantic, huge model, so I'm going to load the stage big. You'll notice that my layout is different from yours probably because I've got screens scattered all over the place. One of the main things that you want to have though is the console window open somewhere that you can see it. The way that you open the console window is going by to Windows and clicking on the console button. Clicking on the console button will bring the console into place and you can usually ends up over here I believe or in in the primary viewport I you can pull these things around and drop them anywhere you want on the screen these little white boxes indicate where it's going to actually show up on the screen so uh, that was over here like that actually it was down below I want it down lower and I'm going to increase the size so that I can see what's going on 
Okay, that's a quick lesson in uh, how to set up your screens, too. Anyway, now I'm going to load a new animation set for a model. And I'm going to look for that scarab that I just put in. So we'll let this catch up. Already I can see that this particular model has got problems. Okay, scarab. Uh, it helps if you type in the box. And here's that mod. Okay, and here's the folder that that model is sitting in right now. Come here and I have a look. Uh, user mod, upload level, to game. Find that where it is there. Models, scarab. And there's the model files. Well, I can see right now that there's a problem. It doesn't show up in my model viewer. I can zoom in, zoom out, whatnot else, and it's just not going to show up. So that means that the model is invisible. Not necessarily. The only way you can find out if the model is truly invisible is by loading it up into Source Filmmaker. So I'll open it up. And lo and behold, nothing showed up. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hit the body, root transform. I'm going to hit position, go into uh, my motion editor and default it. And that should have put it right dead center in the stage, and there's nothing here. Well, if I look over here in my console, I can see here that as soon as I touch that model, I got an error message saying, failed to load the VVD file. According to the information we see here, the model should be living in a models folder. But we just confirmed that the models are living in a models scarab folder and there's the model files it's not sitting in models and then the model files so that means that my model is either a level too deep or whatnot else but there's a little trick to this too and i'll go into that in a minute so if i read this it should be in models it's in scarab right now so i'm going to pick up all these model files and i'm going to move them up one level to models Okay, so now they're in the root folder, models, and there's the model files. As it says, it should be in that particular old error message that I got. I'm going to clear that off because it's getting pretty buggy. So I'm going to kill this one, and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to create an animation set for a new model, and I'm going to rescan for that scarab because it doesn't exist here anymore. See, fail to load models. Rescan, now it's sitting in the uh, mod folder, in the models folder. I'm gonna click on it again. And what happens is I get that same error message. Can't load VDD file for models scarab rigged MDL. Well, here's the problem. This particular path is the next folder down from the actual models folder that this thing is sitting in. So in actual fact, these model files should be sitting in a folder called root models models. Okay, so this root here or this path here is relative to this models folder. If I pick these up now and move them into that models folder, I can kill that scarab folder now so it doesn't confuse people if it'll let me delete it. Yeah, okay. So now what I've got is root folder, models, models, and then the model files right there. If I rescan now, I'm going to take Scarab out of here. If I rescan now, 
let it count up to its 14,000 files that it has to go through. And I type scarab in here now. There it is. There's the mod, models, models, and the actual model name. I'm going to open that now in Source Filmmaker, and I'm going to find that it spawns way the heck off the map. I'm going to select root transform position, and in the motion editor, I'm just going to slide the default button. That'll bring it to the center of the stage. There's the scarab. It is now in Source Filmmaker. It's visible, but we have a big lot of problems with the materials, and we can see those problems starting to show up here. The model itself looks almost as if it's translucent, transparent, whatever you want to call it. Let's see, I can see the back wall here through the model. We would have to go through the actual model files to find out, or the uh, material files now, and try to fix them up in order to make it a, an actual opaque model. Anyway, that's finding, uh, troubleshooting a model using the console uh, of Source Filmmaker to try and determine where the model needs to live. And with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out.